So you're going to get the string to move forward again. So one more compression. One more. Up. So you will let this run through time. And that's what you will observe. Right? The string compressing and rarefacting the air. Compressing, pushing it back. Compressing, pushing it back. So on with the slinky and so on with the graph. The graph is a good way to visualize this. Rather a very, very convenient way to visualize what's happening for us. And you can also begin to observe that the graph is actually more suitable, more intuitive for a transverse wave, right? Because that's exactly how, if you had set up a wave in a string, that's exactly how it would have looked. 